beautiful queens. Usually we are in the amazing legacy birth background, but today we are by the tub because we are gonna be going over some of the water birth positions. For those of you guys who are giving birth soon or who may have forgotten what different variations you can do during your water birth. So shout out to Batang Polera on Instagram and Isa Polera on YouTube. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. She did an amazing job. Congratulations to you and your beautiful family. Balancing during water birth can be a little bit difficult. That's why you often see moms being held up for support by their partners. So the first one is a squatting position and you can also lean over by holding the side of your tub or your birthing pool. So you just get in a squat like this. To make sure you guys can see my and you can actually hold on like this. So that is one of the positions that you can do. This is great for opening up the pelvis area. The next is the hands and knees position. So you can go like this on your knees and your hands, and you can rock and sway in this position, which is really good. But you can also lean over with a pillow right here so that you can relax in between contractions. So this, oh, wow. I might actually like this position when I'm giving birth. This feels so good. Yes. Okay, the next one is resting on your side. This one is not very common, but it's a great position to use when you're resting in between contractions. So you just lean on your side like this. And sometimes this position can be so comfortable that you'll actually see moms end up giving birth and pulling up their babies in this position. And then my favorite position, of course, the position that you see me give birth to Hero in, who's a big boy right now, is the sitting position. So this position you'll see is very, very common, but this is great because of course, my beautiful queens, it's an upright birthing position. If your baby's OP or your baby's a little bit bigger, you can actually bring your legs all the way up like this so that you can give birth to your baby, you have more room. So that gives you two options, but also the second important thing is you can catch your baby so perfectly in this position. This is why I love this position, because your baby can be born in the hands of your own. No strangers, mommy can be the first to touch and hold her precious, precious gift from God and the universe. So those are the different water birth positions. If you guys are new to this channel, and of course, have not got the home birth course yet, I highly recommend getting the home birth course. It really helps moms to prepare for their home birth, know what to expect, and just feel so much more confident going through with your natural home birth. So if you haven't gotten your home birth course, you can get it at LegacyBirth.com. The links are always in the description. And if you're new to this channel, click that red juicy button down below. Down below, it says subscribe, it says subscribe. And I'll see you beautiful queens in the next video. Hi, so I wanted to let you guys know how good Legacy Alone's home birth course is. My first child, I had him eight weeks early, so it was kind of a scare and being in the hospital was just like so depressing and i was just like the next time i'm gonna trust in myself i'm gonna trust in my body and just do everything the natural way so i was looking on youtube and i found miss legacy's video and i was like okay let me watch it and i saw that she offered the home birth course she gave a lot of good information like birthing position good things to eat even the checklist that helps a lot so I can know what to get and I finished the home birth course I'm just ready and I'm just four months but yes get the home birth course and that was such a great help